Hey what is up everybody so in this video I'm gonna share some tips and tricks with you guys regarding the Android 10 with One UI 2.0 update on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Here I have the US variant which got the update few days ago so let's get started. So guys talking about the first thing it is regarding the navigation bar present at the bottom. So with the Android 10 Samsung removed the ability to swipe on the navigation bar to quickly switch between the apps. For example here I have the calculator app opened up and also the settings app. And now if I have to quickly switch between the apps, I cannot swipe on the navigation bar. Instead, I have to press the recent icon and then I can go back to the previous application. So that's an additional step. In order to avoid this, just go into the settings and now go into display. Here is a scroll down and you can see the navigation bar. Just click it and select full screen gestures. Now you have to just swipe on this bar present at the bottom to quickly switch between the apps. This type of gesture navigation system will take some time to get used to but it is much better as compared to the previous method. And one more thing I want to mention with this gesture navigation system is that you can swipe from the edge to activate the Google Assistant. So it's a quite handy shortcut. With Android 10 we are now finally getting a built-in screen recorder which is hidden in the settings. Just swipe down the notification bar and swipe to the left. Here you can see the screen recorder option is present. Just long press it and it will take you to the recorder settings. Here you can select which sounds to record, choose video quality and also you can change size of selfie video present at the bottom. And if you go back you have some additional options present here also. Like you can turn on or off the screenshot toolbar which is this little bar with some tools present at the bottom. Further you can enable this option which says delete shared screenshots and also you can even change the screenshot formats. The next tip will be quite handy for a lot of people. So basically you can mute your phone for a selected amount of time. Just pull down the notification bar and click mute. Here you can see temporary mute option is present. You can enable it or disable it and if you want to change the amount of time your phone is muted for, just click details present at the bottom and select mute for. So here you can choose your desired time like one or two or a custom option. The next tip is regarding the web browser. So here I will go to a site gsmarena.com and here a lot of images are present as you can see and if I want to download all the images just long press only one image and select save all images on this page. It will download all the images present on the page in high quality so it's a quite time saving feature present on the Samsung web browser. Moving on to the camera application now it has improved a lot and also if you go into the pro mode. Here select aperture icon. Now you can set the aperture time to all the way up to 30 seconds. This will be really helpful for nighttime photography. And finally you can also edit the camera modes. Just press and hold each mode and you can drag and drop it to the main camera. So the camera UI is now improved a lot on the One UI 2.0. In the calendar application now you can add stickers to your desired dates. Just click the date and press the sticker icon. And here you can see a plenty of stickers are available to choose from. So you can add stickers to your desired dates according to your mood and coming vacations. In the last I would like to mention the focus mode which helps you to take a break from your phone and focus on your work. It is also hidden in the notification tab. Just click it and here two options are present. I will choose work time and here you can see all the apps are now grayed out. Only my selected apps are enabled such as phone, email etc. So guys this was the video on top tips and tricks regarding the One UI 2.0 on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Make sure you drop a like on this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, bye.